All right, let's check out this cross-up. You guys want to look at this hitbox? It's like a, an amalgamation of everything that's going to make everybody mad. I love this thing. I want one. To be honest with you, I really want one. I really want to try one out. Bro, I got to tell you. So, Hitbox announced this new thing, right? Hitbox announced a new thing called the cross-up. For those of you guys who don't know, this is their announcement video on Twitter. We're about to watch it. Now, before we go there, I got to say, this might be the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. Full schedule replied, damn, not even a mention. How the fuck did full schedule show up out of nowhere? This shit is too funny. Do you guys know the story about full schedule? He's a Marvel player from back in the day who did this first. He really was the first person that got into controversy, I feel like, or one of the, the first uh, like players to get into controversy about mapping buttons like this that were commands. You know, so like having buttons that were left, right, up, down, etc. So that he could tiger knee easier with Viper in Marvel. So he had like an up button. So he just like boom, 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 seismo canceling. And he had this like uh, extra button to do it. And he got a lot of shit. Yeah, this is way before Gaffro box, right? So it's just pretty crazy. As crazy as Weave Fox dropping the Twitch Prime. Thanks very much. This is very similar to the design that he was using way back when. So this is a new device from Hitbox called the Cross Up. Let's watch. So obviously it's a standard joystick. These buttons are the hitbox design. So this would be left, down, right. Down, right, up. So it's the two combined. Back dash, back dash. Forward dash, forward dash. It's fucking Skynet, bro. Hold for. You see how he's holding back? So this tells you that the SOCDs are working correctly. Because he's holding back on the joystick and hitting forward and Kazuya's in neutral. So this is very similar to what a lot of people can do with the analog stick and D-pad on a PS4. So you see how he does back and then goes to uh, forward right here and he's getting back dashes? It's because he's using that to get neutral in Tekken. Forward dashing, back dashing, oh shit. This is the SOCD backdash in Tekken. Down forward, forward, down forward. Electrics. <laughs> Look at the input. So he's doing forward crouch dash and then ending with the electrics on the buttons, it looks like. Damn, look at this technique, the L. The L technique, he's got L wave dashing. Calling everybody who's not doing this shit a fucking loser. The L technique, you losers who don't have the fucking hitbox. See how he's, he's using forward and then doing like the wave dash input with this. And then he switches to do this, oh my god. SOCD backdash, this shit is cheap by the way. SOCD backdash is pretty cheap. You see that? This is one of those commands that like when I, when I saw SOCD backdash the first time, I couldn't believe how cheap it was. So he's literally just holding back on this stick and then he taps down, so you get down back, and then he hits left plus right together, so you get neutral. So he's holding back, taps down for down back, Taps right and left and right at the same time is neutral. So the inputs he's getting is back, down, back, neutral. Back, and then back again. So he's doing back dashes by just tapping two buttons over and over. Instant running moves. Look at that back dash. He's fucking double tapping a back dash. It's pretty good. SOCD is simultaneous opposite cardinal directions. I should ask JCR what he thinks about this thing. He already thinks hitbox is cheating. He was playing on it yesterday and he did like sidestep block and he instantly did it. And he's like, this shit is cheap. There it is, the cross up. I would love to try one of these things. It looks fucking tight. I I would I really want to try one. Because for me, right? Like I've so I played on Hitbox before. I played on Hitbox for a, a little while and I was learning it and messing around with it and stuff. 
and I can play on stick, I can play on pad, I can play on whatever. So this to me seems like such a fun way to play fighting games because you really have the option to input whatever you want. I think it's weird to mash uppercut on hitbox. For me, I can't mash it easily. On stick, it's very easy to mash DP on wake up. So if I was playing on this thing, I would use the stick to wake up uppercut. However, if you want to tiger knee something, I would use these buttons. Yeah, tiger kneeing on hitbox is extremely easy. I would SPD with the joystick, not with the buttons, you know what I mean? So that's the way I think about uh, this kind of a, a device for my, in my own personal use, if I was gonna use it. The thing is, is that there's some stuff that's easy on Hitbox that's made even easier with this uh, for Tekken. Like at the SOCD backdash, you can do without needing a joystick, actually. You can do it with a standard Hitbox. Yeah, like I think that this thing is pretty crazy. What's interesting is that a lot of people are saying like this thing should be banned, it shouldn't be allowed already, but it's it's very similar to what a analog stick is kind of like, a, a uh, DualShock is kind of like, right? Because technically the way they did this layout, uh, layout, I believe, is that this is the left analog stick and these are the um, D-pad. So it's, it's using the same commands that the um, PS4 controller uses or any other controller for that matter that has a joystick plus D-pad. So that's like the way it's programmed. So technically the, you know, um, whatever it's called, the stick is very similar. I'm actually absolutely fascinated with the idea of trying this thing. And I would love to, first of all, learn Hitbox on stream with you guys. Then second of all, I would love to try this thing on stream because it is fascinating to me. This thing is so fucking interesting. So I know a lot of people don't love it and a lot of people don't like hitboxes in general. I have no problem with hitboxes. I can always say hitboxes are cheating. Like, you know, I say that kind of shit, uh, but I love, I think hitboxes are great. And I think if you are considering, if you haven't really gotten into fighting games a lot and you want to get something that's like, you know, you don't know what to play on. I think hitbox is perfect because for most people, uh, they don't play on hitbox because they're used to stick or they play on, uh, like a controller or something like that. But if you come from a game that's like a PC background and you're used to using a keyboard, a hitbox is great. If you come from a background where you don't know how to play fighting games on anything else, hitbox is fantastic. So this is wave dashing with the joystick and then using this button for like the down forward. And then there's a switch into wave dashing with the buttons and using this for SOCD it looks like. SOCD backdash is so interesting. SOCD is simultaneous opposite cardinal directions, which is nerd speak for left plus right at the same time or you know this and that or whatever up up, up and down so what ends up happening in, in hitboxes now the way they're designed socd is that left plus right at the same time equals neutral to uh, continue doing backdash cancels in tech and you do back down back neutral back down back neutral back down back neutral back down back neutral so this is a way that is exclusive to a hitbox or i guess maybe you can do it on the d-pad i've never really thought about that this uh command is hold left so this is left hit down right and then neutral so it's just ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. right here this instant while running is forward and then double tapping the um this button here the left button for forward again plus two i would love to see someone try this thing in the wild the uh, the thing about hitbox that i've always thought about and the one thing that makes me hard that makes makes me hard makes it hard for me to switch is what i was gonna say when i was learning it there are certain commands that I have to think to myself, how do I execute this on a hitbox? Because I wasn't as used to it, you know what I mean? There's that moment where you have to think about it. And on hitbox, it took me a little while to get there. Once I made it past, how do I do this input? That's how I do this input, input. Then I, it was fine. But there was that brief learning period where you're like, what the fuck do I have to do to do this input? Which one is which? But now that this thing is out there, this was gonna take some brain power to be like, I have command options from left, from this thing and this thing. What do I do to block? Do I use the joystick to block? Do I use the buttons to block? You know what I mean? Like this is one of those things where it's gonna take some time and I think your brain could get kerfuffled with uh, having all these buttons available and having to like know how to use them in a match. I'm happy that Hitbox has embraced this kind of ideology and been like, look, you guys all think that this shit is weird, that 
Hitbox is cheating. You want to see some shit? You know what I mean? Like, Hitbox are those people that are like, look, look, look. You all thought what we were doing before was crazy. Let's show you the future. I think this is really, really cool. Do you think Daigo will try this? I think Daigo will try this. It's a little weird. Hold on, I got a phone call. Please sign up for SFL next season. Pretty please. I hit the silent segue. Did you guys like that one? That was pretty good. Uh, the thing about this thing that I think is interesting is I, I feel like there is a couple of commands that are probably easier on this thing, but I think because of the location of the buttons, it actually is probably still maybe better to play on a hitbox than this thing. You know, playing on this thing, you know, the joystick of being available instead of the buttons over here and they're over here now uh, is maybe actually not an advantage because although you have the option to do both, the location of the, the directional buttons are not in an ideal situation. I'm kind of with you. Chris Wynn says the stick is meant to bridge the gap between stick and hitbox players. Sure. Okay. I get what you mean here. So it's like a safer transitional way to do it. Uh, yeah, I kind of think the hitbox is pro stop, probably still the best place to end up. But yeah, this is an okay way to tr like start learning hitbox, but I think you should just jump in. In the one in 14 million possibilities, the end game is still a hitbox, but this thing is a cool way to uh, get both. Everybody who's in the chat that's like, I fucking hate this thing. This fucking piece of shit is like over the age of 40, which is very good. That's a, that's a sign that this thing is built to ruffle the feathers of these old fucks. Oh man, perfect time. I open up my Twitter and I see another member of the FGC over the age of 45 tweeting, there was a time when if you struggle with the execution or some inputs, you would grind them until you got better. Now you have... You had to forge execution. Now, just make an apparatus that helps you do it. Fucking old man over here waving at the clouds. That's a sign that you're a millennial and lazy and like taking shortcuts. You ever think something was just built that operates and does the job better? So using something like that is a good idea. First of all, Kenny, don't you play on pad? <laughs> you're like 40 years old and you play on pad. You're a bitch. You gotta play on arcade stick, motherfucker. You're definitely the one playing on this cheating ass device. Back in your day, they played on the arcade, you sick fuck. <laughs> Kenny didn't take a cent from silver today, that's what I'm saying. We're kind of in that situation now where I think like people have to consider to themselves like, what's tournament legal, what's not tournament legal, how crazy are we gonna get with these apparatuses and devices, you know? If everything that's done on this thing is tournament legal in the sense of the SOCDs making sense, then I don't see why this thing would be banned compared to a hitbox or compared to a regular controller, you know what I mean? Isn't it technically the exact same as the uh, DualShock in the way that it functions? Because on a DualShock, what happens if you hit left and right at the same time? Left on the analog, right on the D-pad. DS4 inputs depend on the game. It's software side, okay. So I think fighting games need to probably regulate and either centralize or make decisions based on their games, what happens when inputs are left and right on their game. So the software side that needs to be done, right? Because obviously like, you know, the creators of the game can just put in the game if left and right happen at the same time, what happens, you know? In Street Fighter V, if you hold backwards and forwards, you will always get forward. It doesn't matter the order. That's what the DualShock you're saying, correct? The, the exception is like with a hitbox, if you hit left and right at the same time, the hitbox will give you neutral. That's a hitbox design choice. That is not a, a Street Fighter V choice. Yeah, I think a lot of this kind of like weird in-between situation is up to developers to figure out, but it's such a small section of what they'd probably worry about in a game that I feel like only a company that really cares about the little things would probably worry about it, you know? Yeah, Mike Z has already had this accounted for in Skullgirls. I'm sure it's, you know, for them, they just fixed it. Even for like KI or other games where like the developers are like, they think about this kind of stuff, they'd be like, okay, well, we can fix this. If you're a new fighting game, if you're making a fighting game now in the modern era, you probably have to think about this. You have to be like, what the fuck are we gonna do if this happens in the game? Would Super Akuma be super without his hitbox? Yeah, his name's not hitbox Super Akuma, right? It's still Super Akuma. That's his name, Wayne. I think you're getting old. What if the future of fighting games is a standard peripheral made by developers? You'd have to sell the peripheral with a copy of the game, I think, which would drastically increase the copy, the price of the game, I'd imagine. You play on Xbox or PS4 controller, but you've been saving money for a fight stick? Well, I appreciate that. I think one euro could buy you an American fight stick, to be honest with you.
That shit goes far these days, man. If you have a euro in Canada, yeah, you're probably in the top 1%, dude. That shit goes far.